Okay, great. So my next step, once I have all of my melodies done, is to going to put my song into a structure. There are a couple of important things that you must have done before you do this. Step number one is that you need to go up to where it says logic on the top left hand side. You need to click on preferences and go down to advanced. Double check that enable complete features is ticked. If it is not ticked, do that so that you can do this next part. Now in this case, I haven't quite finished off my vocal melody, but you need to have finished off your vocal melody before you have done this. That's really, really important. You also need to make sure that everything you've done is labeled. So here I can see that all my chord progressions are labeled all the way through chord progression four. And I can also see that I've got my verse melody labeled and it says vocal line here. I'm gonna change that to vocal line melody just so I'm really, really clear for that for myself. For you, you're gonna make sure that you have all of those things drawn across before you move on to this video. But I want to make sure you have enough videos to get going, that's why I don't have this. So you are going to also need your melody booklet. So make sure that you have that in front of you. If you don't, pause this video and go and find it. You are then going to open to the very back of your melody booklet um, on page 11, where it says song examples, common structure and form. And you've got quite a few choices here. I can't put them up on the screen because again, I'm trying to get these videos to you quickly, but you can have a look at them for yourself. Because I'm an instrumentalist, not a vocalist, I'd really like to put an instrumental in my piece. So I'm going to use that song form that has a really long bridge as my basis for my song. That's the one number three. If you're someone who wants a shorter song, or maybe you're more interested in doing lots of pre-choruses to show off your vocal skills, then you should be choosing one of the song forms that has those, um, those ones with the pre-choruses or perhaps some of the shorter songs. On those charts, each of the um, chunks is showing you how many bars in total that section is. So for example, in the third chart that I'm using, I can see that the intro is two chunks, which stands for four bars in total. So I need to have an intro that is four bars. I'm going to label everything before I drag it around. So in order to do that, I'm going to click up here where my mouse is, where there is a square with an arrow pointing down. This will give me what's called the global tracks. I'm then going to click here where it says marker. Wherever I click the plus sign, it will make a marker where my playhead is. So if I were to click a plus here, it will put the marker over here because that's where my playhead is on bar 13. I don't want that, so I'm just gonna undo by pressing Command Z and I'm going to drag my playhead to the very beginning because I'm going to label from the beginning. I'm going to press the plus sign here for marker and it will say marker one. I want that to be labeled intro, so I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to put the word intro. Now, once I close this later on, I'll still be able to see that this is my intro here, which is really handy. If you use the one called arrangement, that won't happen. So make sure that you use marker. Now in total, my intro is four bars long. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four full bars, which means that my next marker will be at the start of bar five, because I can see here there are four full bars. My next one that I need to do is a verse, which is 16 bars long. So I'm going to press the plus sign on marker and I'm going to type verse one. That one's now in 16 bars in total. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's where my verse one is going to go up to. Now it's going to be the chorus. I'm going to do this now just live in front of you so you can see how I do that and then I'll show you what the result is at the end before we move on. So here's my chorus, counting eight bars. One, then this one's going to be verse two, it's eight bars long and it's okay for right now. You don't have enough music, we'll sort that out in a bit. Next is going to be my second chorus. Also eight bars. This is my bridge. I'm also gonna call my instrumental. That's 16 bars. Again, this is flexible to you. You could also count through these blocks of your chords 
because they should all be four bars long. So that one is my up to my 16. So I can see here, you might be able to hear some singing in the background from our lovely year sevens. Um, you can see now here that I've got all of my markers put in. So I can see here, I've got intro, verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus, bridge, instrumental, final chorus, and an outro. It's okay that my music hasn't stretched out that far because I'm gonna fix that in a second. So what I now need to do is drag everything to the correct place. And you can choose whatever chord progression you want for whichever of these sections. So I've decided I like my verse chord verse, um, sorry, my first chord progression for my verses. So every time for now I have my verse, I'm gonna have chord progression one. I've also got this one for my verse here. So I'm gonna put that there. That means that over here in verse two, I'll also have the same chord progression. To copy, you're going to highlight what you want to move. In my case, I'm gonna start with these two simple ones. So I've just dragged over to highlight. I'm going to hold option on the keyboard, grab them, drag, let go of the mouse first, then option, and it's moved it. If you let go of option first and then the mouse, it will only move and not drag, and you'll have to do it again. Then I think I want chord progression three for my chorus. So I'm going to move that over for my first chorus. My second chorus, I want my development. And I think for my third one, I'm gonna have a combination. I'm gonna have the simple rhythm for my third chorus and then the developed rhythm. Remember, you can listen to this and see if you like it. And then finally for my outro, I think I want to have chord progression four with the development. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing for my intro, but maybe, actually, no, I've changed my mind. I think for my intro, I'm gonna have the just the simple on its own. And then for my outro, I'm going to do the simple rhythm and I'm going to do the developed. So that's my entire thing. I can now listen back to it and see if I like it. I'm just gonna listen to this briefly to listen to if I like it or not. to like that it's starting to form a personality I don't really like this chord progression at the beginning though so I'm just going to drag that away I think actually I want to start with my verse one chord progression and maybe I'm going to have the simple rhythm two times I think that that's going to sound better for the vibe that I'm going for it's the same thing over here I think this sounds a bit boring but I actually wonder if when I change up my beat that will help and perhaps if I increase the tempo. So I can see it's 100 right now. I think I'm actually gonna make that 115 because I think it's gonna give it a little bit more punch. So let's have a listen now. Does this sound better a bit faster? And give it a minute to feel how you get used to it if you like it or not. I think 
that's starting to work really well and I like that faster tempo. So I'm going to keep that. You need to make sure that before you move on to the next video that you've got all of this set up. So that means that you've got all of these things labeled and you're starting to have a complete song. Make sure you listen through it to check that you're happy. And if you're not happy, that's okay, rearrange things. Maybe actually in my instrumental, maybe I'm actually gonna start with these two and then have this one, rather than having it exactly in the order that I composed it in. It's absolutely up to you how you arrange this, but make sure it feels like you've got some energy going from section to section. Once you're done, you can move on to the next video. Well done.